we'll go back to this uh, the final segment. This feels like the final segment. No, that's not right. It is the next segment of The Price of Business. I am your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. I've got the one, the only Tony Powers here on the program. He's with italkus.com, the nationally syndicated uh, radio uh, uh, organization that uh, also has a great presence in uh, the Carolinas and Georgia. And I'd uh, love to get his insight. I'd uh, like to find out what our, uh, what our uh, other southern neighbors are thinking about when it comes to what's happening in the political front. He's got great, uh, great um, sensibilities when it comes to the, uh, in the political process, and he's a great friend of this program. Tony, how are you, my friend? Oh, right on the ragged edge of incredible. Kevin, how are you? Good, good. You know, usually when we get together, you always say, uh, hey, what are we going to talk about? You didn't do it this time because I guess there's just too much to talk about. You know, I, I think this is a Cloward and Piven on steroids. They have overloaded not just the, the system, the, the welfare system. They, uh, this administration and the left, they have overloaded everything. The media, we, we can't keep up with the scandals. And today I hear that uh, not only were those... Uh, emails lost because the uh, the computer of Lois Lerner somehow crashed, and now we hear six of her uh, colleagues' computers crashed. They all they destroyed them. <laughs> it, you can't make this stuff up. It's just well, we like, saw what happened with Richard Nixon because he didn't destroy the tapes. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe. They're not going to make that same mistake, you know. So. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're just smarter than, than Nixon was. I don't know, but this is getting uh, just ridiculous. Yeah, and uh, what else? Uh, you know, what else is uh, did I hear um, I- incredulity from members of Congress? Oh, the Benghazi deal that continues to be shocking. You know, and and uh, oh, and of course you got the trade deal, right? The the the, the one nobody who right now why isn't he not uh, facing court martial charges? I want to know why that uh, that guy isn't facing court court martial charges. We exchanged him for five hardcore terrorists, one or two are, of whom they already believe it, are back in operations. Two, oh, it, two of them are already out there uh, plotting and planning to hurt and kill Americans. I mean, when are heads going to roll besides, uh, you know, average Americans because of the incompetence of U.S. foreign policy? Uh, the only heads that are rolling are Christians and uh, Shia Muslims in uh, Iraq. That's where the heads are rolling. Unfortunately, we, we're not seeing anybody uh, held accountable here in the United States. Look what's happening on our southern border. Uh, we have a refugee crisis on our southern border. Texas is now having to spend a, a, a million and a half dollars a week to send people down to the border to try to, to get a handle on this thing. It is just, it's just everywhere you look, something bad is happening. And, yeah. and, not, and, and taken in individual, just taken individually, these things would be major crises. But now you have them happening uh, in, multiple, in multiples. It, it's incredible. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it is incredible. Uh, and even Chuck Todd, I mean, give me a break. Chuck Todd uh, was reporting this, this administration's over. It's done. And, you know, well, and I wish, I wish the, the White House would get that memo because they just believe all they have to do is make, uh, make decrees, executive orders. Uh, and, of course, there's no intestinal fortitude, no spine uh, when it comes to members of Congress to stop them. Oh, no, you'll hear that they'll all be marching out there this morning. I saw Lindsey Graham and John McCain. They're up marching out there talking about what the president should do in Iraq. And, and, and then you have Daryl Isaac complaining about the IRS and the lost uh, emails. And, and they all go out and complain, and they talk a good game. But this is like WWF wrestling. Uh, that, that's what we're seeing up there. It's, it's, it's just uh, you've got the good guys and the bad guys, and then the bad guys, uh, the good guys are out there, and they'll hit the bad guy over the back with a chair. And it's all just show. It, they're all big government uh, progressives, and we the people are the ones getting the shaft here. Yep, no question about it. No question about it. It's in- incredible. Of all these stories, which one do you think is uh, going to resonate most with voters? Well, you know, I actually think the IRS scandal is probably the most egregious thing because with the loss of these emails, now they're out there. You know, I, I get my email, and I'm sure you do too, uh, on my phone. I-, I can check my email on my phone. So that email, just because that computer is destroyed, you can go to any computer in the country and you can pull up your email if you know your password. So those emails are not gone. 
they, they, they think that they can say by destroying a few computers those emails are gone, but they're not gone. They're there, and uh, email is forever. <laughs> yeah. Believe me, if we have to go to uh, if we have to go to the NH- NHS, we'll we'll find these uh, emails. But the thing is, it's just this administration trying to cover up what I believe is something that goes all the way to the top. Uh, we've seen some of these IRS folks have spent a whole lot of time, uh, and Treasury people have spent a whole lot of time in the White House during the period of time that these things were happening to conservative groups. I think they tried to change an election, and they very well may have. Yeah. And I think this is probably the, the most egregious of all of these scandals. So are you saying that England's socialized medicine system is monitoring um, our emails? <laughs> <laughs> you said NHS. You meant NSA. <laughs> I, I had to point that out. NSA, so, but right. that's exactly right. I, and I'm sure you heard Congressman Stockman, a very good friend of mine, very good friend of this show. He brought that up, and he actually sent a letter to the NSA. And of course, he he heard crickets back, as you can imagine. But uh, it's a very good point. Why don't you use NSA for something productive and, and like the enforcement of the law and holding government officials accountable? Well, the problem is you have Eric Holder. Uh, he is he will cover for the president. The, the Attorney General of the United States will not investigate. And if he has investigated, he's probably told them exactly what they need to destroy and cover up. So you have the Attorney General running cover for the president of the United States. We need a special prosecutor, uh, just like we had uh, when Nixon. Uh, tried this very same thing. You know, Nixon was using the IRS against the people. Yep. And and I think that Democrats and the media should be just as outraged that this administration is doing the same thing. Yeah, no question about it. Uh, in fact, I don't know if you've, if you've comp- uh, compared what an indictment against uh, Obama, an impeachment indictment, will look like against Obama versus uh, Nixon's, but, but it is laughable. I mean, it's m- multiple times larger. Uh, than the actual one that went against Nixon, and far more heinous, the uh, the actions taken by Obama. Oh, and he he just uh, decides which laws he will and will not enforce. Uh, through his pen, he creates laws. Through the EPA and bureaucracies, uh, they come up with regulations that have the force of law that are never passed by our congressmen or senators or the representatives of the people. Uh, this is bureaucracy gone wild. And what we basically see now are the bureaucrats running the government. Yeah, no question about it. Talking again to Tony Powers, and uh, when we come back, we're going to talk more about uh, his great uh, network and and what's going on with that and much, much more. I'm Kevin Price. You are listening to The Price of Business. Do want to remind you, best content here, like this interview, shows up over there at usdatareview.com. Stay tuned for more. 